Anyways, so for years, uh, we believed that in order to catch fish during those conditions, if you went to your favorite fishing spot and a cold front came in, that those fish would disappear, and they would disappear for days on end, so you might as well pack your bags and call it a day and go to the billiard hall. That's what we believed uh, for at least half of my fishing life. And the wind is from the north. That's when that wind, you know, and the wind is from the the east. east. Uh, And and why is that, by the way? Why east? Why does east wind seem to be the, the nastiest one? Because usually there's a storm or a cold front. Why? But I'm saying, why is it coming from the east? Because the Newfoundlanders want to get us back. <laughs> Bunch of Irish holes over there. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so so theory was, okay, you know what? Call it a day. You're done. And then we started learning more about fish behavior. And, you know, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that fish do not feel temperature change. So just because you're up, top they're freezing your ass off this would be the fisher down there shaking in their boots as well it's just not the case because <laughs> they're cold-blooded creatures exactly. their water temperature is their body temperature right? exactly so they they're they're comfortable whatever the temperature is they just have to make that quick adjustment and they're comfortable yeah so what was causing these uh, creatures to to well as in our thinking they disappeared well they didn't the fish were still there they just started behaving differently and what used to be an aggressive fish all of a sudden becomes a neutral fish or even worse, a negative fish. Once again, that didn't mean that they don't have to eat and do all the things that a fish normally has to do. Just means that their, their circle has gotten much smaller. Their circle, meaning their activity levels, right? They're, they're a fish that might've been roaming the flats during peak periods is now confined to a particular spot. And that spot is generally with some sort of cover, some sort of, and it doesn't have to be cover as we know it, you know, I mean, as bass anglers, cover to us is real thick junk, overhead cover, docks, uh, weeds, wood, those are great cover, but it can also be, take cover can also be a, a, a drop off, a ledge, a trench. These are all areas that during the cold front and frontal conditions are fish magnets. And we learned to cope with it. So we had to change. Yes, it was still uncomfortable. Yes, we were still shaking in our boots. Yes, we had to put on an extra layer of clothing. But all of a sudden, you know, when we started understanding this, it became easier because the fish weren't moving away from us. They weren't roaming around. Once we isolate where they were, boom, Bob's your uncle. So wherever you normally catch those fish, don't go too far during a cold front. Just look for something that you would consider to be cover. And including deep water, by the way, as as falling under that cover category. And if you do that, your fishing will increase by a thousand percent, guaranteed. And work harder. It's don't expect twenty bites. Try nope. it for that one bite. You yep. know what I mean? And that one fish that you're looking for, you think he's there. So come on now. And, and we've done it on the fishing show, on Fishing Canada show, many times where we've shown that actual uh, transition from yeah. from you know the 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 horn of plenty to the one fish bite but you could still find them and you could still enjoy it. And besides, get used to it because that's the way we fish that's up the way it. Another uh, Very quickly, uh, another one, Ange brought up the, the point of the fish, you know, going, does he go to a thick weed bed or whatever, but they'll find anything. Sometimes if there's two strands of weed sticking off the bottom, mm-hmm. two simple strands of weed, that fish will, a large mouth, let's say, will just cool right out and just sit right beside that and not do anything for a day or two. He just, this is why he wants to stay there. He just feels, I don't know if it's a comfort zone, and, and if it's protection or whatever, but... Here's an easy way to remember what Pete just said, because it's all about the presentation during those those uh, periods where you've got a barometer change. So when everything is perfect, which does not happen that often, but perfect would be three days of very stable weather. And that stable weather doesn't have to be mile high skies and 85 degrees and shorts and t-shirt. Stable, stable weather. The barometer has not shifted significantly for three days in a row chances are your fish are going to be active. During those conditions, think in terms of fishing horizontally, horizontal presentations. That's when you throw out the spinnerbait, you throw out the crankbait, you throw anything that you can fish horizontally involving casting, trolling, any of that stuff. However, when you don't have those ideal conditions, which by the way represents most of the time that we're out fishing, you need to fish vertically. And those two strands of weed that Pete just mentioned, 
if you don't get your bait within close proximity of those two strands of weeds during the cold front period, you're not going to catch the cold front fish. There you go. So horizontal when they're active, vertical when they're not.